What? Bono delays new album because he's heartbroken about Trump started off as a somewhat silly way for conservative pundits to poke a little fun at the Maxine Waters of the world and their daily, irrational obsessions with President Trump. It has since turned into an actual thing, and it surfaces every day, even multiple times a day, in many and various forms. From Russia, Russia, Russia to number resist and number IMPEACH45 to turning award shows and professional sporting events into political statements, the litany of liberal reasons for Trump hate seemingly have no end. Now comes the latest. U2 lead singer and well known recording artist Bono is that a first name, last name, nickname, adjective, or what? Has announced that he's delaying the release of his next album because. Trump. I'm trying to imagine how heartbroken you must be. The one word name artist revealed that he just can't do it right now in a recent interview with Rolling Stone magazine, arguably the most liberal in the country. In an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Bono revealed that he is delaying his next album because he is heartbroken over President Trump. In truth, there's a couple of reasons why we delayed songs of experience. One personal, one political, said Bono. You've had the same sort of disaffection in the United States with the rise of a new kind of constituency, people on the both left and right who have lost faith in political process, the body politic, in political institutions. These sentiments are easily played and manipulated by the likes of Donald Trump, said Bono. In a world where people feel bullied by their circumstance, sometimes people fall prey to a bully of their own. Lots of people around me, both conservative and liberal, feel that this is one of those defining moments in their life and in the storied life of their country. After the election, some people on the left were almost grieving I'd say, and when I tried to understand this, I realized there was a kind of mourning, a mourning for innocence that was lost, said Bono. That's interesting. After the elections in 2008 and 2012 millions of Americans found themselves mourning too, why was that not cause for concern, Bono? He concluded, for the first time in many years, maybe in our lifetime, the moral arc of the universe, as Dr. King used to call it, was not bending in the direction of fairness, equality, and justice for all, said Bono. The baseness of political debate, the jingoism, the atavistic fervor of Trump's verbiage reminded us that we were dreaming if we thought evolution applied to consciousness. Democracy is a blip in history, and it requires a lot of focus and concentration to keep it intact, he said. For the record, Bono is Irish. Why he's so concerned with American politics and sticking his nose into our business is unknown. It could be that, although he's from Dublin, he chooses to live here in America. Manhattan, to be precise. <laughs> Wonder why so many people choose to do that? Bono is also one of these celebrities who always wears sunglasses, even at night. He's rarely if ever seen not wearing them. Maybe something in those lenses keeps him from seeing things that most of the rest of us can. Like Americans going back to work drastically falling illegal immigration numbers, a shrinking federal bureaucracy, and other positive developments since Trump's election. Or maybe they enable him to see things the rest of us can't. Either way, we'll all have to wait in order to hear his singing voice because, with Trump in the White House, he just can't do it. Sign the petition below, dear NFL, we will not support millionaire ingrates who hate America and disrespect our armed forces and veterans. Who the wins a football game has zero impact on our lives. Who fights for and defends our nation has every impact on our lives. We stand with the heroes, not a bunch of rich, entitled, arrogant, ungrateful, anti-American, degenerates. Signed, We the People.